What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel. And for today's video, your girl is here to bring you my next video in my haul series. As you guys know, I typically come on to my channel and I tell you guys about all of the makeup items and skincare and uh, fragrance that I picked up in the previous month. Now, as you guys knew, November, I completely busted my budget and December was, not unlike the same uh so i have a lot of stuff a lot of stuff to go through um quite a few of these things i have either planned a video i've already recorded a video and or there will be a video coming up so if i don't stick around and talk about a lot of the products for an extended amount of time that is why i did not record this eye look but i did use products from two out of the three project pans that i do have available on my channel i think by the time this video goes up only one of those project pans will be made live don't worry i have already recorded the other two videos so those will be streaming for you you guys soon i think i have a project pan airing every friday this month so that's that um i'm going to try and group together as best as possible but some of these things it's going to be quite hard to do that and because i have such an abundance of things i'm not going to even be able to really group them based on eyeshadow and non eyeshadow i'm just going to try and go through the whole kit and caboodle so i think those are all the disclaimers check out down below in the description box if you have any questions otherwise feel free to comment um i have been slacking a little bit on answering my comments but i've been going through a little something something so once i get through that um period of time then i will get back to my normal which is trying to respond at least once a week uh to everybody's comments so i think that's it let's just get to it Alrighty, so I have quite a few things already stacked up on my desk um, and I have a couple of things put away. So one product that I have already done a four looks one palette with, it was live earlier this week because I think I'm going to be putting this up on Saturday as a bonus video and it was my Glaminatrix Silent Night palette. So I have already, like I said, done a four looks one palette. Um, I do still want to test out this palette just a little bit more, but you will see I have an abundance of products. I guess as always, you know, you buy a whole bunch of things and then everything comes at once. So it's going to take me a little while to get back to this, but I will be getting back to it. I really want to fine tune some things before I do my most recent kind of tint ranking my most recent tim palette situation okay i also talked to you guys about in one of my must-have must gags that i bought an order from odin's eye and i did receive my order i got two eyeshadow palettes from their collaborations during black friday so i just literally received it tail end of December. So the first one in the duo that I picked up was the Hummingbird palette from the Fancy Face or Tina. I know a lot of people, I don't know if people weren't as pressed about this palette, but I must say this palette is going to be the next palette that I really dive into. I'm really, really excited. These colors are not only astounding and beautiful, but the metallics are beautiful. The shade Fancy she put her foot in that shade okay she put her foot in that shade i am really really excited like i said to play with this one and this will be the next multi look um video i just need to find the time to do that video the other palette that i got in that purchase was annette's um annette's makeup corners palette which is the giant wolves palette I got this one thinking honestly that this would be the one that I like the most because I'm really into these darker, smokier kind of mattes right now. And I do enjoy this palette, don't get me wrong. I've only done swatches, but I am excited to play with it. But I must say I'm nowhere near as excited as I am with uh, um, Tina's palette. I don't think the swatches will be on my Instagram by the time this video goes up. I've just been slacking with my Instagram posts lately but I do already have swatches of both of these palettes on my complexion and I will be putting them on my Instagram so I would recommend following me 
because then hopefully you'll be able to see that when I do post them. I also did, like I told you guys, get uh, make a lethal cosmetics order and I actually just posted this today. These are the shadows that I picked up from the brand. As I told you guys when I picked this up, I decided to be inspired by the Give Me Glow whatever witch palette and just choose lethal cosmetics shadows i prefer the size of these pants and i've also been really excited to try the brand whereas i've already tried to give me glow and i don't necessarily like how big those pants are so i got this palette and if you want to see the instagram post it it's already live and then i also got one single blush from them and this is in the shade Calyx, I believe. It's a really, really pretty blush shade. I am really excited for this formula. I have played with it at least three or four times. Never had a problem with it. I thought it applied beautifully, stuck to my skin beautifully. I haven't worn it for an extended amount of time. I think I've only put it on on like a night makeup tutorial situation like today but I will be diving more into that specific shade in the future. I just you will see I have a lot um, I have a lot I have a lot I don't really know how else to say I also did pick up a colored rain order as I told you guys which it took quite a bit of time I got an order from a whole different country the same no in a shorter time period than colored rain got their products to me so that's something but anyways I got the colored rain rebellious nudes palette I told you guys that this just screamed my perfect brownie nudie tones and I am excited. I'm not going to hold you up. Just looking at the palette, I haven't touched it or anything. It does not look as perfect as it did through the um, product sh sh the product shots. So I don't know if the product shots were just like the perfect undertone or if just in pan looking at them, they just don't look like the perfect undertone. Either way, I am really excited. I think this, these two rows and then like this really, really interesting mustardy shade are going to be my favorites. I'm, exci I'm excited overall. I will say I am excited. No par no qualms about that. And I am saying, and I am interested now that like the lights are on the actual palette. I can see that these shimmers may not be just basic shimmers. They looked basic, but I think it was just because of the competition of the other product that I got the same day as this. So it just didn't, it just didn't hold a candle. But these look like they may be metallics with some glitter. So that, that may be perfect for me really really excited um to play with that palette now after like seeing it with the lighting and everything and then like i said i got two other products so i did end up getting the white cream eyeshadow base so i am really really excited to try this out i am recording this on january 5th i didn't put as much makeup on t towards the tail end of december and obviously even the beginning beginning of january so I am still working on the last remnants of my MAC Paint Pot, but I'm pretty sure if I put makeup on one more time, it will be gone. So from that, I will be working on some other uh, primers and I will be testing out this primer eventually kind of mixing all up in that as well. The last product that I got in that Colored Rain order, I actually got a cream blush and this is in Stiletto Rose. I believe this is in the the last collection that they had which apparently was a collaboration and i didn't even know but this is the one shade that i was halfway interested in i haven't swatched it or anything yet i think it's gonna be a unique shade to my cream formula i tried to get as unique of a shade as possible but also something i thought i would actually get use out of i hope i enjoy it as i hope i enjoy all of this stuff let's face it i did not want to spend my money for nothing but yeah really really excited for those products now it is time to get the bin in case you did not realize it's it's a huge bin huge bin I, I i can't even reach the top that way so i have to keep it on the bottom actually now that i'm thinking about it there is something super super exciting that i need to tell you guys about that i picked up i as I tend to do when I am at work sometimes when I get bored or I just have a little bit of downtime I was just window shopping and I saw that Cleonade <laughs> had a sale they had a sale I did not have the money I shouldn't have made this order 
but I can't say looking at these that I am disappointed by any means. I have not done any swatches. These six in the corner I had previously, but all of these other ones I picked up in this most recent order. I will be doing a swatch video of all of these, so do not worry. I am really excited to do that. I am going to aim to get a couple of features for my camera so that the swatch video can be even better than they have been. I think I'm improving, but I want to add just a couple more features to potentially just amp her up a little bit. So stay tuned. Really excited. Can't wait to play. And I think I'm going to wait to play a little bit later. So that video probably won't be coming until maybe February, March. So sorry to tease, but I just, I want to get through the palettes and then I can really play with some singles and all of that in like my, um, my project pan mats with like those shimmers. I'm excited. Okay, what is this? This is my colored rain box, so I can get rid of that. Oh, no, actually, colored rain ended up forcing me, quite literally, to get a whole bunch of singles. I don't I don't need them. I don't need them. I don't want them. I'm not going to open them by any means. I have these and a couple other things. So I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to do a giveaway for people who feel comfortable receiving products from me. They would have originated from my house and I will be sending them to you guys. I will make sure everything is already it's still in its package so I would not have opened anything that I'm sending to you. If you feel comfortable and if you do want to enter this giveaway, um, hashtag down below a video idea that you're excited for me to see. Oh, no hashtag, I'm sorry. Comment down below a video idea or concept that you're excited to see me do in 2022. I do have a lot of ideas. I'm very excited, but I also would love to hear some more from you guys. I don't really know what all I'll be sending, so this will be a very much kind of a mystery for you guys as much as it will be a mystery for me, but I will be doing that. It'll start whenever I, um, upload this video and it will probably go until let's see let's see if I upload this this weekend which will be on the 8th let's go until January 31st yeah we're gonna go till January 31st hopefully that way the item will get to whoever by Valentine's Day for whoever those people who do celebrate Valentine's Day you get like a little makeup treat from me. I do just want to continue to thank you guys because I I just want to thank you guys um yeah for welcoming me back after such a long period of time being away and just for rocking with me and sticking with me for the length of time and like the trash audio the trash videos I truly do appreciate it and if I have something I can give to you all I'm gonna try within my means so yeah anyways if you want these and some other things like I said give me a video idea down below towards the tail end of December and January I made it my mission pretty much to get platinum and rouge <laughs> thankfully I had a co-worker or two that wanted to buy some things from Sephora so I picked some things up for them. And then there were also quite a few things that were on sale that I needed, wanted, all of the above. And so I, I justified it that way. Honestly, I shouldn't have done it. I should have just purchased the things that I needed, but I did. So we're going to go with it. So one thing that I picked up is actually a candle. I'm disappointed because the size that I wanted actually sold out before I made the um, plunge to make the order. But I still got this candle. Very, very excited. This is the Valuspa, Valuspa, I believe, Goji, Goji Taraco orange i don't really know how to say it it smells so good i had like years ago i tried to pick up a candle from this brand exact same scent and it came completely smashed i was so disappointed and instead of trying to get another candle from sephora and it come to me smashed again i just asked for my money back and i never 
got the candle i love the smell as you can see i have a candle back there in that lantern and i can't wait for that candle to be done i actually hate that candle and then i will be putting some of more preferred scents in there i do have quite a few candles that i ended up receiving during this time period um and this is one of them so really really excited to put this aside i don't really hoard candles i pretty much buy candles when i need them and then i buy them in bulk and then i'm good for the x amount of months that it takes me to uh burn them so you won't be seeing too many more candles from me in the future really but yeah really really excited for that candle i then also made an order from abh they ended up doing a sale on their website i think for like 30 percent off and i decided to make the plunge for a couple of different reasons i didn't have any brow products pretty much i had ran out of some products and i was close to running out of some products and i figured i already know that i enjoyed these products from abh it's already in a kit and then the kit on top of that was discounted as well so i decided to make the plunge and just pick this up i got the brow bay six deluxe kit which gives you two brow whizzes and dark brown and a clear brow gel and the clear brow gel is actually a mini so i didn't realize that when i picked up the the kit but it's perfectly fine i knew i liked every product and so basically i'm actually using currently the brow gel and one of the brow is they are currently in my project pan and what i will do is i will put the second brow gel or the brow whiz in um a backup because I will use it um, and yeah I'm just really happy that I was able to pick up something that I needed for a discounted price and then like I don't necessarily have to feel the need to like search around in my collection for a brown although there are quite a few browns that I have in eyeshadow palettes that work beautifully in my brows but sometimes like during before work I didn't put on makeup purely for the fact that I did not want to take the time to get a brush, get a powder, dip in the powder, you know? So it just, it worked. And then I also really, really wanted to try two of ABH's more recent launches. They launched two cream products, both a lime and cream bronzer and a lime and cream blushes. And I had previously went to Ulta and figured out what shade I wanted and I just never picked it up. So this is the product in the cream bronzer. I got the shade Hazelnut. Still haven't tried it. I'm really just having fun using the products in my project pan. I will be doing like a get ready with me new product situation so stay tuned for that one and then i also got the one cream blush that i thought i would get use out of which is in peach caramel it turns to be more of a neutral natural shade on me so i wanted to go ahead and pick this up i figured this would be the one cream blush i would get the most use out of and i was hearing really really good things about these ranges both of them and i figured if i can get them discounted and try some products that i'm really into i'm really getting a lot of use out of cream products lately why not so that's kind of how that decision was made okay i also ended up picking up quite a bit of fragrances um <laughs> quite a bit of actual fragrances and then fragrance sampler sets so i got i believe three fragrance sampler sets all from sephora some of them might be from ulta i'm not really sure one of the sampler sets that i got is from killian this is their Pau paris Eau de perfume sampler set there are five samples in here really really excited this is the they classify this as their mini discovery set i got this from sephora on some form of discount i don't really know it was how long ago so i got that i also got the skylar clean beauty discovery perfume set been hearing really really good things about this brand as well so i wanted to try theirs and then i think the last sampler set i got was from Elias Brooklyn and I got their library so I'm really really excited for all three of these I have not opened them purely because I am trying to get through some of the mini samples that I already have open and some of them that I've already kind of made a dent in you will also see that this is not even the surface of the perfumes that I picked up 
or received this month so you know it just didn't make sense to open up these when I'm working on some other ones as well I also did get my birthday um whatever and it has the Laneige water bank moisture cream the Laneige water sleeping mask and then the lip sleeping mask I don't need any of these I don't want any of these so this will be going into that giveaway that I'm gonna give you guys I didn't open it at all um, so yeah okay so there's some more things that I put into this um, little Sephora bag so let's go through those oh so I got a travel size of the scent from replica this is in autumn vibes so <laughs> I love replica right I have two of their travel sizes like this and so I know I love autumn so I was like purchase automatic right I'm gonna love it I didn't read the description so or the fragrance description and it says woody trail and red leaves and that is a very very accurate description it literally smells like leaves and like a trail not in a bad way but in a very unique slash I was not expecting it way which doesn't make any sense since she it says it on the description either way I am keeping it I am excited to see how much use I'm gonna get out of it I think it's gonna be a very unique scent and I'm gonna reach for it when I'm in the mood and it's it's gonna be interesting to see how much use I get out of that I also got a Kaoli mini fragrance so I got their invite only which is their amber scent and it looks like the notes are black cherry honey de province tobacco leaf amber resin and vanilla Madagascar I must say this smells really good it smells good is it the most you know like complex scent that I have no but I am really happy to get like this little mini I think it's a perfect size to try it out see how much use I get out of see how much it's necessary to have it in my collection so yeah really really happy about this and it wasn't even that expensive I think it was like $20 so definitely definitely worth it oh it looks like I got another sampler set this one is 19-69 the collection Eau de Parfum so yeah I got I got that and then I also got some samples I got a Versace perfume which is Eros which is an Eau de Toilette so I will definitely be looking into that and then I also got the Den Denessa Myricks vision cream sample and I actually am excited to potentially try this out to see if I can figure out my perfect shade um, so yeah it'll be interesting to try this out as well so I think my samples I did good at least for that round one more product that I know I got from Sephora and then we're gonna do a little jump to Ulta and this is the Huda Beauty Mercury palette I got it took me like the fifth try to order it and to receive it but I got it and I am I am excited I will say I am excited um, and we'll see we'll see how much use I get out of it I think that this top row is really going to be the money maker and this bottom row I but I'm not going to judge it before I try it like I said after using that Huda Beauty new nude palette and getting so much use out of it and enjoying it so much I'm not gonna judge these too much so excited to try this one out I finally got rid of the packaging so I will add it to my stack of palettes to try out and I got some new organization in my room now so we'll get it together okay jumping to like literally the three orders that I have from Ulta I think it might even be more one of the products that I picked up is a perfume and this is from philosophy this is purely Laura made beauty's fault it's her fault and this is their warm cash cashmere fragrance so I actually funny enough put this on again today this is a really really nice scent so it's very nice very simple warm cashmere I mean I don't really know how else to call it it does smell like caramel to me so in case you saw my fragrance scent situation it really does smell like that with of course vanilla in there as well but it's a very like comfy sweater 
type scent so I would recommend it at my Ulta they only had the mini scent which is perfect I, I don't even have I don't even have room for these in my medicine cabinet so I need to figure out how and what I'm gonna do about that but I am excited to have that and it does really smell good and I sprint I sprayed over it with my project pran fragrance so I don't actually remember how long it lasts because I can't smell it anymore because I sprayed over it good things okay so I also got two NYX products um, I t said in my what video was it like products I regret not buying video at the end of last year that these were two products that I wanted to pick up from elf and like I said I made it my mission to reach platinum and rouge towards the end of the year so I decided why not and I got them in the shade so I got a blush a cream blush in the shade Caribbean it's a really really nice interesting mauve shade definitely not unique to my collection but this is one shade that I knew would work on me and that I also would get use out of if that makes sense and then I also got their cream bronzer in the shade sunkissed I'm not particularly sure I'm gonna love this shade there was another shade that I think I thought I would like more um, but they didn't have it at my local Ulta because I wanted to do a order and pick up type situation so I ended up picking up these two cream products we'll see how they wear I haven't tried pretty much any of these I'll let you guys know if I've tried the product and then I also ended up picking up another brow gel so like I said I have that one brow gel from ABH that is a mini and I was hearing one youtuber that truly doesn't rave about a lot of things rave about this particular brow gel and I figured since I'm going to run out of mine probably sooner than I expect why not try this one out and this is the NYX the brow glue she was raving about this so I figured why not it's not too expensive it's from Ulta I need to spend money at Ulta so there you go so I also got some basics so I got three different eyeliners from this range this is the LA girl ultimate eye range I got this one is a navy blue I also got the black and a brown I've been wearing the black pretty much non-stop I love this eyeliner formula I also previously had a cream um, in the shade I, I really like this formula I would highly recommend it really easy to apply I think it lasts really well super pigmented good to go I also got some other products that I've already opened up so they're not really in the presents I got some nail care products I could not find a nail file for the life of me so I just or bought a nail file from Ulta I also got a rose hip oil I really enjoyed rose hip oils in the past I'm pretty sure I've specifically enjoyed um, the ordinary's rose hip oil I didn't pick one up in like my last major skincare um, haul which I think was last month so I decided just to pick that up and then I also my um, KVD uh, liquid liner literally ran out in the middle of I think November or something so I decided to pick up the NYX um, liquid liner and I'm pretty sure it's already out of the packaging yeah it's already out of the packaging and already in my organization system I also got a little bit more nail care products I don't necessarily I didn't need these in the moment but I think I will get a lot of use out of them I got a couple of buffer blocks and then also um, some nail files in like the scrubby version and then a nail clipper there's always a need for a nail clipper in the house always somebody loses one and then they take yours and then you don't have any more so yeah I also last month so Ulta was doing a 20% off coupon for fragrances and I ended up getting the Givenchy Little Dit Eau de Parfum Rouge this smells so good I have worn this at least four times since I picked it up it is beautiful it smells so so good um, I will try my best to put the notes on the screen of every fragrance that I'm talking about so you guys can see the notes it's dark sultry inviting 
highly recommend really really happy that I picked this one up I did go in store and smell all of the ones that I was interested in and this was the only one that I really really wanted so that's why I picked it up and I'm glad I took the time to go in store so I knew I was going to like it. I also said in November that I only had one pack of makeup wipes. So I did just go ahead and grab a duo pack just because I do do quite a few swatches. And it also some days, this is all I got. This is, this is all the energy I have. I don't have the energy for my ridiculous skincare routine. So I went ahead and picked those up. Now I should be stocked for at least a good six months. It, I, it takes me a while to get through my makeup wipes, but when I do get out of them, I hate that I have to buy them again. So I like to buy them in bulk. This this last part of my Ulta extravaganza, honestly, there's no justification. There is no justification for this at all. But I ended up getting two more shampoo products and a shampoo and a conditioner. So I got the melanin um african black soap reviving shampoo i've wanted to try this i have and then i also got the creole essence haitian black castor oil conditioner i went through their oil i love the smell of it and i figured i would slowly try their range as well as i've been slowly trying the melanin range so you know that's the justification it's okay it's okay because i've been doing really good with my hair and i actually am going to be washing my hair tonight so i will be getting through hopefully some products tonight so yeah sit back okay so i guess officially i had not hauled my two ColourPop products i feel like i hauled them though either way they were in this basket so i'm just going to talk about them i've already done a video um i've kind of already done my review i will be doing a more thorough review and ranking them i ranked them at the end of last year just type the names into my channel which is the mandalorian and the child palette and these videos will pop up for you guys I also made quite the order from one candle brand called Anchored Northwest. They did a collaboration with Taylor Wynn and I really wanted to try not only the brand but her scents and then on top of that I really liked their um the where they were donating their money. They were donating their money to a, a system or a a company that basically helps to support individuals who cannot afford their medical bills and they have a chronic illness so I really wanted to support and I needed candles anyway so I figured let's go for it so I've been burning this one in particular which is quarantine and chill and it's really really nice it the notes are ozone citrus sea salt jasmine violet cedar powder and light musk I can definitely smell that powder and the sea salt um, I can even smell the citrus. I don't really smell a lot of the musk and the violet. It's really nice. I really love the wood wick, the wood wick in this product because it just feels really, really like homey. And I feel like the actual candle gives off more of a warmth than kind of some of these other candles like that one that doesn't have that wood wick. Wick. I also, like I said, did get the full line of Taylor Wynn. Um, products which is late night glow head turner and loves you loads i clearly as you can see have not actually unpacked them um but and I, I can't be bothered to do that right now i can't um but i'm really really excited to burn all of these candles and just to learn more from the brand the, if you're wondering the ba the brand is based in I believe Seattle Washington which is why she did a lot of collaborations specifically with this brand and they are a smaller brand which you guys know I love indie brands okay at one point I also needed like a little bit more uh, I needed to buy one more thing to like I think get the rouge or whatever so I added a beauty blender solid lavender soap I don't use these so this can go in the giveaway as well so 
the giveaway is slowly building itself it's building itself i also got my order from kb shimmer in um during the month of december i ordered quite a few and i have almost worn all of them except for two by the time this video goes up i'm sure i would have worn all of them i will do my best to put on the screen right now the swatches that i have done some i haven't because i keep forgetting honestly to take the photos until my fingernail is chipped but for whatever uh shades that i do have swatches of i will have them in on the screen for you guys i highly recommend this brand i really love this brand not only their formula but i love that they give you that wide paddle brush automatically in the packaging and one of the shades that i feel like you guys are gonna really really enjoy and i i've worn this twice and i haven't gotten a uh, one nail shot yet and this is oh my gourd so i know you guys really like my quinotics polish which is like more of a mustard this is literally like a squash type shade I don't like squash but I love the shade so in case you were interested in something a little bit darker a little bit more sultry I would recommend that one and then the other one that I would highly recommend is which one is it where is it it's in the shade this one it's in solar flare with the M I think it's like metallic or something this is phenomenal I love them all all of the ones that I picked up but that one that one is definitely a favorite it is insane that one and if you're wondering the chipped up mess on my nails right now it is from hollow taco and coral chaser and of course i did not take a picture before the nail polish started to chip gotta love it winding down um on quite a bit of the products i actually realized i have quite a few still in my bathroom so i will run and get those towards the end but let me start with the stuff that i still have in front of me i did end up picking up the rare beauty um bronzing stick when i made that order for the huda beauty mercury palette and i got it, got it in the shade true warmth i'm really excited for this one as you can see i have not tried it but as you can also see i have like three different cream bronzers um and i am project panic so i am going to be testing these out i am going to be trying them but they are going to be slowly tested out probably on camera with you guys um just so you guys can see it in person as well one last thing and then everything else is pretty much from one website so i will just knock those all out together fenty decided to come out with a mini set of her fragrance so i did end up picking that up along with another product that is still in my restroom and this is in this is her eau de pump eau de parfum and this is in the two milliliter size it's not it's not that good I actually I it's it's clean it smells clean I've I mean I've I've done a little dent because I'm trying to see how much I like it or dislike it I really don't like it I've been meaning to actually ask my coworker if she wants this because if she wants this she can have one I'm gonna throw one into the giveaway for you guys and the other one is going to my best friend so that's how this is going to go down I I will not be picking up the full size I'm very thankful that I picked up this version um, with something that I actually did need and I'm actually using it that's why it's in my restroom um, and I you know I saved so much money by not picking up the full size so really happy with that let me pick up the stuff that's in my bathroom and then we can run through that last group of stuff that I have to show you guys alrighty so the other Fenty product that I picked up when I picked up that not so good perfume is the Fenty skin fat water which is a toner serum I knew it was a toner serum but I guess my brain just did not comprehend that basically you open the top like sideways like that there's like a little really small hole in the top that you push the product up and then you kind of apply it i'm not saying this is a bad product but i'm also not loving it in the sense that for me a toner you spray it on or you rub it on and you feel it like cleanse your skin i don't feel that with this the plus side or the positive side if you will though is my skin has not reacted with this so i do appreciate that i don't actually think there is a fragrance in here I, i'm pretty sure i actually looked to see if i could there there is fragrance 
but it's super flow down so we'll go with that either way I don't actually smell the fragrance yeah I don't actually smell the fragrance at all personally but I'm just not a huge fan of this I will go through it don't get me wrong but after that you know I've, I've now tried her skincare range and I think I'm good so the last group of products that I want to show you guys are all fragrances I went through a huge fragrance situation with the brand or website fragrance net um i bought a lot of fragrances they do a lot of designer um fragrances discounted quite heavily and during the month of december they pretty much had everything discounted like 30 percent off 20 percent off already of whatever their discounted price was so it was just it was too good not to take a nibble at okay i will say the one product that I really don't want to keep but if nobody wants it I will keep it and it is the Bulgari Omnia Eau de Parfum this is the red one I guess I don't really know I don't like what it, it smells like it smells clean it smells distinctly clean distinctly linen -y, but I just don't like it I I know that about myself now I've there are two different linens here that I do not like. That'll be another one that if my coworker wants, she can have. If my best friend wants, she can have. I'm good to go. So everything else pretty much I am in love with. So let's go through them. The first one is the Elizabeth and Arden Fifth Avenue Royale. It's a really, really nice scent. It's interesting, intriguing, mysterious. There is definitely musk in here. But it's not too heavy so and I think I smell a little leather in here as well if you were interested in like the Tom Ford um, leather but you thought it was too heavy maybe try and sniff this to me it's like a lighter version of that one that like I immediately immediately sniffed it and I threw it into my bathroom that's how much I knew I wanted to keep this is the Kevin Aquan no Calvin Klein Obsession Perfume. Perfume? Yeah, it did perfume. This literally smells like amber. Straight up amber. There's probably vanilla in here. There's probably musk, but it's the amber in here that is so, so unique specifically to my perfume collection. And just, it's just so like, I feel like I'm getting hypnotized by this amber I love this one I've sprayed this multiple times I've worn this multiple times love it love it love it love it then I have this one this is a perfume called spark by Claiborne I believe and this is a cologne it smells so so good and what I really like about this one is it kind of changes throughout the day it starts off kind of deep mysterious not too heavy though there's definitely like some floral notes in here there's definitely a light kind of scent to it but it gets a little bit deeper and a little bit more ambery and swathier if you will throughout the day I really like these all of these pretty much have a really not nice long wear time although I will say I feel like this amber one or that's not the name the obsession one oh, it's named accurately I think that one has the longest wear time if I remember correctly and then the last one I just pulled from my bathroom is the David Yerman exotic essence this one is really really good too really really good oh my gosh nice deep interesting not too much not too little really really like this one as well so i also got a fragrance sample from this um from one of the many orders because i made quite a few orders from this website and it's exceptional because you are i guess that's the fragrance so i'll try that later on i also <laughs> they had some joe malone scents on discount and if you know Joe Malone at all you know Joe Malone does not do discounts they don't they don't and I could not help myself at all I had I had to okay it would have been a climb if I did not pick these up so I got the nectar blossom in honey and this is in the one ounce 
size if you were I guess curious or cautious I did already have the like sampler um, of this and so I knew I knew I needed it I wanted it and I conquered it and then the other one that I picked up is English pear and freesia oh my gosh these are both light airy but they they draw you in they draw you in a lot I'm probably not going to wear these very often during the winter at all but spring and summer these are definitely going to be some scents that i am really going to reach for and i got this one this english pear and freesia even more discounted because it came without the box and it was limited edition child i don't care as long as the scent smells good that's all i care about and then i believe <laughs> i believe the last kind of beauty item that i picked up this month was another scent So this was the scent that I picked up with the Sephora perfume 20% off sale and I could not help it. So in this quest to kind of whittle down my little samples that I've already tried out and already dictated that I enjoy, I ran through this sample and <laughs> this was on sale well it wasn't on sale I could get it on sale with the Sephora coupon so this is the Toca Florence Eau de Parfum and the crazy thing about this particular parfum is that I realized that I love spraying this on myself right before I go to bed it's such a feminine light scent but it's also like I think there may be some powder or something in here it just it feels like a really good scent for bed this top is heavy it's actually really really heavy I've been missing this I've been working on another fragrance and it's just it's not the same it's not the same I've never been that person to put fragrance on before bed unless I am actually project panning the fragrance not gonna hold you up any amount of it but this will be a fragrance that I use before bed I'm just oh oh my gosh it smells so good and maybe like some nectarine or something there's something um sweet in that one as well so these are all this is it you know only this is what I picked up during this month I did also get some clothes and stuff but like I don't think you guys care about that um, and I'm also not the best person when it comes to modeling clothes I've tried and I failed so yeah I picked up a couple of things but I don't think you guys care if you really do care I can show you guys because there are a couple other things that I'm interested in but let me know if you really really do care otherwise I'm not gonna show you guys so yeah long story short these are all of the makeup and beauty skincare perfume products that I picked up received in the month of December it's a lot um not too many things still on their way to me which I am happy about I really do just want to try these products get use out of these products review these products for you guys and for me like I said I have a new system so I have a whole drawer now that I can dedicate towards new items that I will be shopping my stash or shopping that area when I want to do a get ready with me all with new items I can't wait to get all my perfumes in their respective section in my medicine cabinet and I will be doing some videos hopefully talking about all of these like discovery perfume sets that I got so stay tuned for that and yeah I think that's it I'm sure I've talked off an arm and leg I can't imagine how long this video is um, but yeah that's all I got for you guys today I hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said don't forget to enter that giveaway down below in the comments if you are interested and I will see you guys in my next one bye guys